Honved of Budapest. It was 1-0 to the Hungarians in the first leg, remember, so Celts had to win and try not to lose a goal in the process. The commentator is Derek Ray. There's the Celtic lineup, and Benny McNeil has gone for experience in key positions. Mick McCarthy returns to the central defence, but Billy Stark is back in the team to provide attacking power from midfield. Alan Ruff keeps his place in goal at the expense of Ian Andrews. Greg McAvenny playing it only his second European tie for Celtic. Now he's already scored eight goals this season, and McAvenny really did look sharp in Hungary. Honved have made one change to the team that played in the first leg, with star striker Kalman Kovac surprisingly relegated to the bench. Watch out for right back Sandor Chaloy, number two. He likes to make attacking raids down the flank. Imre Fodor, the Honved playmaker. It was Fodor who scored the only goal in Budapest, direct from a free kick. Fodor takes most of the corners, and he's also the penalty kick specialist. Our referee tonight is from Sweden, Eric Fredriksson. And so can Celtic put behind them a disappointing series of games. They've lost five of the last eight. Highly charged atmosphere inside the stadium. The Celtic management team believe the crowd could be Celtic's extra man, Joe Miller. Chance for McAvenny. Just the start Celtic wanted. The first corner of the game. Miller with it. Rogan going up. We kick to Honved. Vital that Celtic don't allow Honved an away goal. But not since the first Premier Division game of the season against Hearts have Celtic registered a clean sheet. Andy Walker playing up front for Saudi tonight. Joe Miller. Now McStay. Taken out by Chair, the left back. Chris Morris with a free kick for Celtic. Chris Morris, signed from Sheffield Wednesday, the Republic of Ireland International. And straight through to Alan Ruff. Quick with a kick up field. McAvenny and Walker. Here's McAvenny. And the shot. Rex McAvenny shooting on sight. And nearly catching out the Honved defence. Rogan's header. Got it back by McCarthy. But it's Stark. Well brought down by McAvenny. Stark is wide to the left. Tackled by Shaloy. A wily campaigner, Billy Stark. A lot of European experience. This day's with Aberdeen. Next day with a free kick. Walker was up. So was McCarthy. And eventually hooked away. And the play has in fact been called back. The whistle sounding. And it will be a corner kick to Celtic. An early close shave. Celtic's second corner of the game. McCarthy again coming in from the back. Aiken. Tangled by Chehi. Walker. Need to run and turn here. Rogan's header. And McAvenny! Great save by Diesel. Beautiful looping header by Frank McAvenny. Vital touch away by Diesel.
Chris Morris with Ganu Shosh. McCarthy pumping it high. Ready start for Celtic. Looking to go inside and start. Oh, what a strike by Billy Stark. The Celtic fans love that. Billy Stark going in field. Really whipped it in. And Diesel with a dive of despair, just wide. Rogan's header. But it takes a Honved bounce. Gregor releasing Shosh. Derek White was caught under pressure. That's an interesting ball picking out Walker. Surely his path was obstructed by Laszlo Diesel. Paul McStay and Anton Rogan, the Celtic players, over the ball. Mick McCarthy is on the right edge of the box. McStay's free kick. The target is McCarthy. And Stark with a header! Stark and McAvenny. The players up with the ball. Billy Stark. It looked like getting the final touch. Frank McAvenny in the thick of things as well. Anton Rogan for Celtic. And White spreading it out to the right side of Chris Morris. Composed build up by Celtic in the early stages. McAvenny. The flag was up. But the decision stands. The kick by Diestel. And a chance here for Honved. And the free kick goes the way of the Hungarians. Chehi, the player, going down. Alan Ruff preparing himself. Hungarians can be lethal from set play positions. But no trouble that time. A poor mistake, and he win the ball for Celtic. Really, it's been a dual defensive display thus far by the Hungarians. Rogan. Seven minutes remaining in the first half. It turned by McAvenny, and Aiken has made the run. Can he make it 2 0? A chance for Aiken. Beautiful turn by McAvenny to set up the chance. Aiken tearing through, and was there a hold by Varga? Aiken running onto it and just sliding it wide. This still sprinting his kick. Thrown out for the throw. He's still. Bodor picked off. And here's Joe Miller. Beaten away by the goalkeeper, McAvenny. Frank McAvenny pushing it over. Joe Miller also had the chance for Celtic. Peter Distel thwarted him with the save. But Celtic are on the roll here. Going deep to Josef Gregor and Alan Ruff. With the tackle, Sayatu still with a chance. Ruff is outside his area. Well, the half time whistle comes to the rescue of Celtic, but Alan Ruff, the hero, right on the whistle. A standing ovation from the Parkhead crowd for what was an excellent first half display. The goal scored 
in the 13th minute. A free kick played into Mick McCarthy. McCarthy getting his head to the ball. Billy Stark and Frank McAvenny on the goal line. It looked like McAvenny who got the final touch. And at half time, it's Celtic 1, Honved 0. The champions of Scotland against the champions of Hungary. Honved kick off the second half. And the knowledge that the priorities have changed since the start of the game. Unless they're prepared to go to penalties, they must now score an away goal to win this tie overall. Early Honved attack and the header by Shosh. It was unchallenged. Janu Shosh. Could only spill it wide. So to Celtic. Free kick going to the Hungarians. Oyeka, the captain. Laszlo Di still the libero. Chair the left back. Intercepted by Morris. And this is Joe Miller for Celtic. Lining up the shots. Walker. Goal. But it's not going to count. The linesman's flag was up. Just when it looked as if Celtic had gone ahead on aggregate. Joe Miller with the shot that was blocked away. Andy Walker, the player eventually matching onto it. But the linesman right in line with play. And the goal chopped off. Lost count of a number of times. Celtic have been caught offside over the two games so far. Trying to release Janu Shosh. Penalty appeals. Janu Shosh going down. And the players surrounding the Swedish referee. But the decision, no penalty. Celtic playing on. Free kick as Roy Aiken went down. Oh, Honvad clearly thought. That should have been a penalty kick as Shosh went down. The tackle going in. But the referee not concurring. Mick McCarthy's flighted free kick. Sayatu. So Shosh. Pumped up field and again rough outside his penalty area. Chris Morris. Lotus Eldick. And Walker. Unable to. Prevent that ball from going out. Walker on the turn. Great effort. Andy Walker. Twisting, teasing and tormenting. And he weaved his way past the Horn Van defenders. And a chance now for Honved to build up. Fodor. Gregor tearing down the right. Fodor made the pass. McStay. Chris Morris, the right fullback. the interventions by Honved now Sayatu 
Di still the sweeper has made a deep run. This is Gregor. Bodo. And Shaloy with a cross. Di still going up. Away by Stark. Janusz Tremendous drive by Shosh. Bouncing and bubbling. And Alan Roth could only take it at the second attempt. On bed, haven't been seen all that often inside the Celtic penalty area. But a couple of near things. And now Morris. But he starts knocked back. Rogan. Stu Rogan going round the outside. Walker. The danger cleared. Andy Walker inches away from having a crack at it. Chris Morris with a shot blocked away. Celtic stepping up the pressure. But Honved weathered the storm. Rog Aiken looking for fighting spirit from his colleagues. Like if flick on. Joe Miller not quick enough. And easily guarded by Diesel. Miller up against Chet. Imre Fodor. Fodor again. Great tackle by McStay. They certainly had the Hungarians rattled. Winning the ball in midfield, but nearly set up a sounding chance. Anton Rogan. Pressurised by Gregor. Picked off. And here's Paul McStay. And Joe Miller, offside. The shot going wide, but the flag was up nonetheless. Over the two legs, two evenly matched sides, no doubt about that. Celtic showed plenty of style and panache in the first half. Found it just that bit tougher in the second period. Janusz Szosz. Andy Walker on the recovery. And they're out by Shaloy. Paul McStavis, Celtic. Miller, Aiken's header, and Walker! This time, it counts! The crowd's wait is over. Celtic are in the lead on aggregate, and they hope it's for good. Celtic eventually beating the offside track. Andy Walker with a beautiful strike. Walker's seventh goal of the season. On the night, Celtic 2, Honved 0. On aggregate, Celtic 2, Honved 1. Tackled by Chehi. Miller has been full of running tonight. Throw by Morris. McCarthy. And now Celtic's turn to go under a burst gear.
Deep kick by Rob. McEvenny and the lob there. Oh, yes. Pure genius. That surely will settle the outcome. The Hungarians appear to be standing still, but Frank McEvenny certainly wasn't. Timed that lob to perfection. He's still left standing. McEvenny, second goal of the night. And Celtic on their way to round two. A chance now for Varga. Fired high and a drive for wide. But it did take a deflection on route. They can McStay, Stark and Morris inside the six yard box. But it's Stark taking no chances. Vodor has had a quiet game by his own high standards. We've now entered the final two minute spell. This is Vodor. Varga blocked by Aiken. He's still the sweeper. Pressurized by Mark McGee. And this could be 4 0. Can McGee finish? Yes. Ninety seconds remaining, and that caps off a great night for Saudi. Mark McGee getting the break of the ball. He was totally single-minded. Virtually McGee's first touch of the ball. He had two bites of a cherry. The second bite was clean. And it's 4-0 for Saudi. There's no doubt about it. This has been a highly efficient performance by Saudi. And it's all over. Saudi go through for the second round of the European Cup. The trophy they won back in 1967. And Celtic certainly worthy winners tonight against the Hungarian army team. Standing ovation from this massive Celtic crowd. And who knows what lies in store for Celtic. The draw takes place on Friday. Yes, a real joy night for Celtic. A marvellous win. And